Well, Shackamack High School in Greene County is going green. The school has installed a solar farm that will save the Wabash Valley School System more than $1 million over the next 12 years. It's time now for Eye on Education. There's a big ripple effect, too, to this story. The school district plans to use what they'll save in energy costs to spend on education needs, which could wind up supporting a new energy curriculum for students. Shackamack Schools Superintendent Jeff Gamble joins us now from Jasonville with uh, more. And uh, Jeff, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. You bet. I know just over your shoulder there, we see the uh, solar array that uh, are, are you uh, energizing it, getting it online, is it this weekend? Yes, uh, tomorrow we're supposed to have a shutdown by Duke Energy, and during that we'll be connecting with the uh, power grid, and it'll take about a week or so for uh, Vergy to uh, tweak the system, so to speak, and we should be good to go in about a week. Talk about how this whole idea came about uh, to use solar to, uh, to, to really energize, if you will, the, the high school there and also uh, garner some cost savings? Well, uh, about a, two years ago is when we started kicking the idea around uh, to try to have some kind of cost savings for our school corporation. Uh, we needed something that would uh, bolster our operations funds. And, and so uh, we toyed around with the idea and decided to explore it. Uh, the former superintendent, Nick Carazia, and I worked together on that, and uh, we approached uh, Johnson Mello with the idea. Uh, we sold it to the community, uh, had a lot of information and transparency with them. Uh, Johnson Mello came and did presentations to the community, and uh, that's how we got it started. Well, was there any, any pushback or any, any, any concern at all in the community about, uh, about the solar array? Uh, no, I think uh, the community has embraced the idea as well as our school board and uh, we see the savings and that they're guaranteed. And so uh, that's, a, that's a big selling factor. Uh, I know that in uh, before in the last 20 years, some schools have gone to solar arrays and there's been issues with funding. But as uh, we've gone forward, the process has gotten better and uh, the solar arrays and uh, solar fields are cheaper to install now. Uh, and I think people are realizing the savings. Well, let's talk about the savings because they are real. And as you say, they're guaranteed. Talk about these, uh, talk about these projected savings and where that money's gonna, gonna go or those savings are gonna go. Okay, uh, the first uh, year we're guaranteed over $70,000 in savings and each year that goes up incrementally. So that if we don't realize those savings, then Verigy will take care of that or, or um, compensate us for that. Um, but the savings go up every year. Uh, by the 12th year, we'll have over a, realize over a million dollars in guaranteed savings. And that will initially go toward our operations funds. Uh, if you're familiar with the way school funding works, there's usually two pools of money. Your education fund take care of the and your operations funds, which take which takes care of the paying the bills, uh, your buses, your custodians, and running the school. Yeah. And typically, small school corporations like us, we don't have a whole lot of operations funds, and so you have to transfer money from your education fund over to that. Uh, Seventy thousand dollars a year is ten percent of our operations funds, so that's. Mm -hmm. 10% wow. of that money that we don't have to transfer over and that savings that we'll realize in our education. Uh, it, that is substantial. Hey, we've only got about 20 seconds, Jeff, but there's a student component, an education component uh, to this whole uh, plan as well. Absolutely. Part of the agreement with Verigy is that they provide us with curriculum for solar energy and that's uh, vocational classes that we can add in. Uh, the students will actually have the solar field in our backyards that they can look at, work with, uh, and there will be people here from Verigy who will maintain the field. And so it's, uh, it, it's something that we can add to our curriculum as uh, learning about green energy. Very good. Innovation at a school system in the Wabash Valley. Uh, Jeff Gamble is the superintendent uh, of schools uh, there in Shackamack. And uh, Jeff, thanks for joining us from Jasonville and good luck with the project. Hey, thank you for having me and uh, thank you.